this is David. Today we're going to talk about continuous deployment of Azure Functions. What I mean by that is I have here an Azure Function app, which as you can see has no functions in it, so there's no code in it. And I have a repository here that actually has Azure Functions in it. There's a Visual Studio solution, and inside of here is a project with a single function. In fact, we can look at that code right here. It's a really simple function. It's just the default when you create a file new project with the Azure Function app in Visual Studio. What I want to do is I want to make sure that every time I make a change here, I want that change to be automatically pushed to Azure and show up here in this function app. So uh, to do that, what I need to do is to go through my repository. So when I make changes, if I'm using source code control, and you should, then I'll make changes, test them, and then I'll push those changes here into this repository. And what I want to do is to have a hook that says whenever code gets pushed into this repository, automatically then push it here into my Azure function. And that's known as continuous deployment or continuous integration. When we make a change, get into our source control, and then automatically gets pushed out into either production or some staging environment so that we can actually use it and test it. So how do we do that? Well, I've already done a little bit of this work already. I've created this function app. I've got my repository. I've got my code here that's hooked to that repository. What I need to do is I need to go into Azure, right here, into my function app, and select platform features. And there's all sorts of things I can do with this function app. The one I'm concerned about today is the deployment center. I'll click that, and this tells me all of the source control that are automatically supported within Azure Functions. Visual Studio Team Systems, this is now called Azure DevOps, but it has the old name here. Uh, GitHub, Bitbucket, Local Git, all sorts of things here. I'm going to select GitHub and then click on Continue. You may need to authorize your app in order to make this work. In other words, let your Azure account have permission to read that source control repository. And once I'm here, now I'm on this page, and I want to select my repository from here. So I've got there's David GR, that's where my source control is. And within that account, within that GitHub account, I have a uh, repository called demo-azure func deploy. That demo right, right there. And if I have multiple branches, maybe I want to specify which branch. I only have my master branch here, but you can be spe as specific as you want. And once I've done this, I click Continue, and this just, just takes me to the third page here. It's just a summary, make sure everything looks good here. If it doesn't, I can go back and change it, but I'll click Finish. And that'll set that up. It'll go back to GitHub. It's actually going to add a webhook, which you can see right here. It's being deployed right now, so it's not quite done yet. And once that's done, after a couple of minutes, it's going to, step one, pull all of that code from my repository and deploy it here into Azure. This takes a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause the video right now, and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, we're back, and you see now that we where we had no functions before, now we have a function, function one. Click on it right here. We, can just, we don't see the code, but we see some information about the deployment right here. And the reason we have one function is because that came from here. Function 1 is right there. That's our one function, and we named it Function 1 onto here. So that's pretty cool. But what would be even more cool is if every single time I made a change to my project and pushed it into source control, if that change automatically showed up here. And that's continuous deployment. So let's do that. We've already set up this webhook here. Pushes it through here, and I can see my code is now deployed in here. Let's go into my project. And I'll make a simple change. I'll just add a second function. Add new Azure function. Call it function 2. That's fine. Make it an HTTP trigger. OK. And this code is fine here. I'll save all. And then I'll build it. Ideally, I should probably test it. Maybe have some automated tests. Run it locally. Make sure it all works. But I'm feeling really confident today. And this is really just a demo for deployment, not for functions. So let's leave it at that. Now, uh, the way the GitHub works is it's a two-phase commit. First, I need to commit to my local Git repository, and I'll do that right now. I'll say git add dot. That adds all the changes that to my, uh, all the changes since my last commit. And then I'll say git commit, and that will actually commit it 
to my local Git repository, I let a message added function two. Did I spell it right? Like that. Um, and that's good. And then I want to push it. Git push origin is what I called that repository. Master, I need to log in here. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. And now I've logged in with my super secret credentials. And it looks like everything worked pretty well here. I've added this thing here and pushed it up into source control. Let's take a look at GitHub, see if it's there. I'll refresh this like that. You notice there it is, function two has been added to my project. Um, so that's what you'd expect with if you've worked with Git or GitHub before. But what really I want to see is I want to see that this was pushed into here. And if I look over here, I should see something going on. Um, what I want to do is refresh this. It doesn't happen instantly, so there may be a delay. And so I'm going to wait about two minutes, and I'll come back. And hopefully, what we'll see is a second function will appear here under the functions for this function app. And there it is. I didn't have to pause at all. So there's function two. So what we've seen now is that I've been able to wire up my Azure function for to do continuous deployment such that whenever I make a change and push it into my source control system, that change is automatically pushed out to my Azure function app. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.